How do you do? So for this episode of Let's Talk Jinx, I want to revisit the nerfs from last week's video. Because even though I did a follow-up video, in the Let's Talk Jinx video, we basically just said, oh, there's maybe a Q nerf, and there's an ultimate nerf on the R. Because the way they kind of put out the patch, because it was like a mid-patch, they kind of staggered it out. And I want to get that video up, at least before the European crowd had to go to sleep after all. So I got that video up around noon, my time even. And then they just kind of kept putting out more stuff. First and foremost, the ult nerf is really just a tooltip change. Apparently that's always been a thing. It's always been 450 damage, but in the tooltip it said 550, and that was just a like a, a visual bug in the tooltip that's been fixed. So the ultimate was actually not nerfed at all. What actually was nerfed was the Q, and I, I know we talked about this, so I'll just touch on this briefly though, but again, the mana cost has going from 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 to 20 at all ranks. And the range is going from, and this is the bonus range, as in uh, Fishbones has a certain amount out of range and then bonus range as you level up the Q. Uh, 100, 125, 150, 175, and 200 to 80, 110, 140, 170, and 200. Meaning by max rank it'll still be the same and we talked about that too in terms of like they still want Jinx in her like late game to still be late game Jinx. She's supposed to be powerful in the late game. They didn't really want to change that too much in the range uh, change but it's more of an early game change you can kind of maybe bully the Jinx a bit more. If you're someone going against Jinx like let's say you're a Jinx main but she got picked away from you they want you to be able to say Say, hey, uh, you can pick like something like Twitch or Caitlyn or something and try and punish her early, maybe try and put her behind before she can even get rolling. With that said, the point of this video isn't to rehash that video because YouTube doesn't like when I copy videos. They do not, they send very uh, specific emails when it's suspicious that I, you know, multiply a video, even if it's a different video, mind you. But, anyways, you know, saltiness aside, uh, that being said, how do you feel about the nerfs in terms of, it's been a week now, have you felt them? Do they feel a little bit different? Do they feel strange? Do they, are they non-noticeable for you? Uh, that's the point of this video, is to kind of have a discussion about how do we feel these nerfs have landed? Because remember, even though it's supposed to be a nerf, they didn't go too hard on Jinx because they still wanted to actually still be meta, or at least viable. They actually like the fact that Jinx, who, and especially, and I bring this up, when there was the uh, Ardent Sensor meta back at Worlds of 2017, that was all about protecting and shielding hyper carries. Jinx was played like once. She was considered not good enough in pro play specifically. In solo queue, different story. But in pro play, she was not considered good enough to play. Even in a meta that was a super Jinx favorite meta. So now that Jinx just is the meta, they kind of want to put her in a spot where she's not obviously the half you can blind pick her blue side, of course. But they like her to actually be able to stick around this time a little bit. So they don't mind like chopping off some power, but she's still a thing you can pick as long as she's not the pick and that's why there's other 80 carries in this uh you know patch that got a lot of love in different ways or nerfs uh master you got some changes i i mentioned this because there was a, a master E player that commented on a previous video and i don't want to make it seem like i'm calling them out this is why i'm not mentioning your name by the way if you're watching this uh, just in case i come across that way that's not the point but uh you know there, there are changes for other champions too that are in here that are kind of like you know adjustments buffs or nerfs because they're getting ready for the playoffs and like msi and stuff and so they want a lot of these champions to be able to be viable of course and since jinx is kind of already there actually they don't need to give her some love for the first time in several years they don't want to take it all away but what do you feel about the nerfs me personally i will say the range nerf is for me really not noticeable because if I'm going to get some like Caitlyn and stuff, there's a chance I'm playing pretty safe anyways. And so the, the being able to be bullied is not, I don't want to say a non-factor, but like I, I kind of play the lane the same already, even with the bonus range. Like the bonus range for me was more uh, to punish somebody if they miss like a hook or Leona missed her Zenith Blade or like something like that. They went to do something, whiffed it, and now I punish them as the return option. Um, as for the mana cost, I might, I think I felt those a bit more than I thought I would already. Um, but then again, maybe not. It kind of depends. I've been playing like normals, really, not really ranked, where I kind of manage my mana more carefully. I've kind of been kind of liberal about using my abilities, and I'll be like, ah, one more rocket would have killed them, and they're uh, they're getting away. And if I had that mana, maybe I don't know, you know. So, how do you feel about them? Comment in the comment section down below. That's gonna be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification the actual subscribe button. It's really appreciated as we push towards 2,400 subscribers. We're less than 10 away, so I thank you for that as well. But I don't know which video will be next, because life can have a lot of kinks. So until this time, take care. GG, get jinxed. Thank you for watching, and enjoy pizza responsibly.